Soon after that, very soon after that, my sister-in-law came to visit with this book of hope that she had got for Christmas, two of them, for her and her husband, and she was gonna throw them in the trash. And something in me said, that's the word of God. I looked inside of it and it looked like scripture. And I just was like, no, you can't throw that away, but I'll, I'll take them from you and I'll give them to a Christian that I know I have this friend. And I was thinking of my boss that I work for. And so I took it into work and I told her, I said, I have these two books of hope that my sister-in-law was gonna throw away and I wanna give them to you. And she said, I will only take them if you read one of them. So you have to take one too. And I was like, okay, I guess I could do that. I was a little curious about that. And I didn't read it right away, but I did put it in my bedroom on my nightstand. And I decided that someday I would open that and read it. And one night, my husband was um, traveling out of town and life was really busy. And I had one of those moments where I was like, I'm gonna pick up that book and read it because I kind of feel like I need something right now. So I started to read it and like the first page, it starts talking about Jesus' life. And I was intrigued and I was drawn in immediately. And I couldn't book the book down. I read it like that whole week. And just hearing about Jesus' life, I, they're just all those stories of the miracles just really pierced my heart. And I started to see my sin for what it was in reading through Jesus' life. In the beginning, it says, what is the Book of Hope? It, it talks about how it's the books of the Bible, so it's the gospel stories of Jesus' life in chronological order. And it also made a statement in the front. It says, Jesus' life proves that there is hope no matter what. That's why we have this retelling of his story, the Book of Hope. And especially like John 1, it totally struck me when I first read this. In the beginning was the one who is called the Word. The Word was with God and was truly God. That blew my mind. <laughs> this whole book just opened my eyes to who Jesus was because I thought he was a man who was like me and just was perfect. And the Word of God is what showed me that Jesus is God. And that shook my world.